every time I bring this up, people ask a lot of questions about it, so I figured I'd go into a little bit more detail about it this week, and that is that when lightning strikes in the air, it brings down natural nitrogen to the lawn and turns it green literally in front of your eyes if you're able to distinguish it or if you watch it or if you look for it. And this is why grass on the side of the highways, you'll notice after a good thunderstorm or lightning storm, lightning is the key there, after a good lightning storm, you will see that grass on the side of the highway is green. And that's God's way, Mother Nature's way of feeding the plants nitrogen because we need nitrogen as humans as well, and we have to get it through plants or animals that have eaten plants. And so that's just part of the whole nitrogen cycle. But I wanted to explain to you about the natural nitrogen, or as my friends in Florida, we call it free nitrogen because we definitely need it down here with our very nitrogen-hogging St. Augustine grass, even my zoysia over there, which we will hog up and drink up some nitrogen. And then we even have some Bermuda in the state here. So Bahia grass. I'm not sure about you guys. I'm not sure if Bahia grass, Bahia, Bahia, Bahia. I don't even know if it cares about nitrogen. You'll have to ask my friend Brandon Davis like that about that. If you want to see the king of Bahia grass, you want to go search his channel. It's called Lawn Time Coming or Lawn Time Coming. Just search that on YouTube. That's my friend Brandon Davis, Floridian lawn care nut that just started a lawn care channel. He doesn't have any stickers up here in the sticker wall or any anything yet because he's just that new. But I wanted to shout him out because that's a Florida, Florida Fellow Florida lawn care nut right there. So lightning, what about that? So I don't know if you guys are aware, but up to somewhere between like 70 and 80% of the atmosphere is nitrogen. It's called atmospheric nitrogen. Think about that. You know, up to 80% of the atmosphere is nitrogen. I say that nitrogen drives the bus. I literally mean that nitrogen drives a lot of things in the world. So with that massive composition of nitrogen up there, though, we want that in our grass, right? That's free nitrogen. But in that gaseous form, it's two, mo- it's two atoms forming a molecule, and the, and that, the, the bond that those atoms have is, is nearly unbreakable. It is, it's tight. It is bound. Those two atoms are stuck together like, like natural glue. <laughs> I'm not even saying it the right way, but you get what I'm saying, and that's, that's a molecule that's in the air. And it's unusable by plants in that form. So what happens is lightning goes through the air, And lightning being what it is, think about lightning, right? I mean, lightning is probably one of the most powerful natural things on earth. That lightning does have the power to separate those atoms. And when it does that, it changes the composition of that atmospheric nitrogen to NO2. And that's because what happens is immediately after those atoms separate, they are combined with oxygen in the air to make NO2. Now, that's still a gas, And that's still not in a form where the plants can use it. It's still up there in the atmosphere. But the thing that always or almost always accompanies a lightning storm is moisture and rain. And that moisture is in the clouds. And that NO2 dissolves in the water that's in the clouds. And it rains down. And now it's in the form of nitrates. And now it's immediately usable by the plant. So it gets into the soil. The roots take it in. Boom, you get a flush of green. That's free nitrogen from lightning storms. And so I challenge you next time you get a lightning storm, look at your lawn. The next morning probably is when most of you will notice it, but look at your lawn even a few hours afterwards and you will notice it. It'll be noticeably greener. Test me on it. Don't fertilize an area of your lawn this year, especially if you're in Florida where we have the lightning capital of the world down here. Test me on that. Don't fertilize an area of your lawn and then go out and look at it after a lightning storm and I guarantee you it will be greener, especially St. Augustine grass. It'll also be softer to walk on and will just feel better. So that's super cool. And that's what lightning does. It brings you that free nitrogen, that free green up. And I love that. So think about this though. It takes lightning in order to do that. You know what else can do that though? microorganisms in the soil. They're also called nitrogen fixers. And by the way, that process that I just described there is called nitrogen fixation. And there are microbes in the soil, microorganisms that are also nitrogen fixers. They have the power, just think about it, it takes lightning to do this in the air. And these microorganisms have that same ability to do it in the soil. And we add in humic acid because humic acid helps those nutrients to chelate through. It helps to support the nitrogen fixation being done by these microorganisms. So it's all kind of neat how all that works together. And again, we're just all trying to get that nitrogen into the plants because nitrogen drives the bus. So if worse comes to worse and your budget is at its end and you got nothing left to throw down, 
you hope for the best with a good lightning storm, get some free nitrogen, and hopefully get greener than your neighbors. By the way, that's the other thing about the free nitrogen. It's free and available to your neighbor in the same amounts that it's free and available to you. So one of those things to think about with that free nitrogen. And in this case, you don't want to think about it with dominating the neighbor, but what you definitely want to think about is going over and sharing that information with your neighbor so you can be the cool kid in the block and go, hey, buddy, I know why your lawn's greener even though you don't do anything to it, even though you neglect it, even though you don't care about it. But look at it, it's greener. You want to know why? Because you got some free nitrogen from the air and you can explain this to them and now all of a sudden you're the cool kid, you're the one that has all the info, you are definitely the bona fide lawn care nut in your neighborhood. And as always, I'm sure you're hoping for the best.